Hi, welcome. So today we will be doing lesson 48 in your CFR Form 3 textbook. Okay, so this lesson can be found in your close-up textbook on page 66 to 67, a place to call home. Alright, I'm sure you all know what letter is this, right? So this is a letter where it's a friendly letter where you can write to your friends or to your family. Alright, so this is called an informal letter. So today our lesson will be about an informal letter. Alright, so how do you reply an informal letter? When you are replying to a letter, remember to react to what the writer has said. So read it carefully to see if you have to apologize, give an explanation, express enthusiasm, ask for or give information, thank the sender or accept or decline a request or accept or reject an invitation. Okay, this means you have to make sure what is the writer asking you. So if the writer is asking you uh, to invite you or is asking you a question, make sure you reply that question. Okay, you can organize your letter by replying to the writer's comments in a similar order. Alright, let's look at these questions. Okay, so this is how you reply questions in your informal letter. Okay, so make sure your replies are related to the questions. Okay, let's look at number one. Can you help us do some packing next week? Let's look at the sample answer. Sorry, but I've hurt my back and I'm not allowed to lift anything. Alright, so when you see this reply, it is something to do with the question. It's related. Alright, number two. Have you heard we've just bought a houseboat? Yes, you must be excited. Imagine living on a houseboat. Okay, so look at the reply. Alright, let's look at number three. I hear you are moving house. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes. Can you help me clean the new house before we move in? Okay, look at the reply. It is related to the question. Alright, let's look at number four. Would you rather come to visit on Saturday or Sunday? Okay, let's look at the reply. Okay, Saturday because my uncle and aunt are coming for lunch on Sunday. Alright, let's look at number five. Is now a good time to move house? No, because house prices have increased recently. Alright, let's look at number 6. Have you any idea how I can get my sister to help tidy your room? Alright, the reply. Have you tried arranging a time that suits both of you so you can tidy up together? Alright, so although the reply is in a question, it is still fine. Alright, so make sure your reply is related to the question. Alright, so let's look at B. Read the writing task and underline the sections you need to respond to. Okay, so this, this is an, an informal letter that is given in your textbook. Okay, so let's read the letter. Hi Kirk, how are you? Guess what? We are moving house next week. Our new house is a cottage. It's really old and interesting and I like it but I'm a bit worried. I won't like being in the countryside. I also don't know if there are any people my age who live nearby. By the way, mom says we are having a housewarming party at the end of August. Can you come? I really hope you can. We'll need help with the music. Maybe you could bring some of your amazing collection. Do you want to be DJ? Bye for now, Robbie. Alright, so when you see an informal letter like this, identify what the writer is asking you. Alright, and you have to reply this letter based on the questions asked in the letter. Alright, so let's look at this. Okay, underline the sections that you need to respond. 
okay so let's look at this okay so i won't like being in the countryside so you as a friend how are you going to encourage your friend okay next one people my age so this person is kind of worried how is he going to survive in a new place okay and he is under the impression that he may not find friends of his age so you as a person who's going to reply the letter how are you going to respond to that okay next one a housewarming party okay so are you able to go for the housewarming party so make sure you respond to that and the next one amazing collection right so amazing collection of cds or meaning songs okay and do you want to be dj so you have to actually respond to that so that is an invitation right so this invitation is uh, there's two invitations here okay about can he i mean is he able to come for the housewarming party as well as being the dj for that housewarming party right so when you respond you make sure you follow this order and you must respond all right okay so let's look at c think of ways you could respond to your underlined sections and write notes compare with the partner okay so let's look at this you have received a letter from your friend robby who is moving house write a letter in reply to robby in about 100 words all right so this reply has been given to you okay so let's look at this so this reply is found in your textbook read the example letter did kirk include any similar responses to the ones you and your partner talked about okay let's look at the letter hi robby it's good to hear from you what exciting news i've always wanted to live in the countryside you'll be able to cycle around without any traffic and camp out at night it will be great don't worry about making new friends you've always been very popular why don't you see if there is a local football team or youth club i'd love i'd love to come to your party it will be great fun and of course i'd love to be the dj i'll bring lots of different types of music so everyone can have a good time have you decided on a date yet bye for now kirk all right so let's look at this do you think this person has replied the letter with all these responses here all right so the first one i won't like being in the countryside so let's see okay see i won't like being in the countryside so you will be able to cycle around without any traffic and camp out at night it will be great right so this answer this reply relates to this okay the writer is actually encouraging the sender okay let's look at the next one people my age all right so what did he respond to that don't worry about making new friends you have always been very popular all right so you see when uh, he talks about people my age so friends are normally around our age so he is actually given a reply for this right? it's just encouraging him okay the next one a house warming party can you come all right i would love to come to your party okay so he has accepted the invitation all right so the next one okay amazing collection dj i'd love to be the dj i'll bring lots of different types of music so do you think he has agreed yes he has agreed to be the dj for the function okay so when we look i um, mean when we see when we when we do a comparison between these two letters we can actually understand that the the reply has been written very well okay they did not copy the entire letter but he has responded to all his questions encouraged him and also accepted invitations all right okay so let's look at e read the example letter again and answer these questions okay number 1 does kirk 
respond to all of Robbie's letter? Okay, did he respond? All right, yes, he did respond. Okay, so let's look at number two. Does he copy large parts of Robbie's letter? Okay, when you look at the letter, he has replied it differently. He did not copy. So the answer is no. Okay, let's look at number three. Does Kirk write in an appropriate style? Did he actually mix it up or did he follow the proper order? Yes, he wrote it out very well. So the answer is yes. Alright, so let's look at F. Match number one to number five with A to E to complete the plan that Kirk made before writing the letter in B. Alright, so here what you have to do is, can you see number one, two, three, four, and five? Okay, so you have to compare with this. Alright, so let's see. Okay, greeting and opening. So which one is this? Okay, the answer is E. Hi, Robbie, it's good to hear. Okay, let's look at paragraph one. Okay, what exciting news. I've always wanted to live in the countryside. So what is he trying to do? Okay, you'll be able to cycle around. See, he's giving lots of positive uh, views about the countryside. So, the answer is, yes, it's D. Say good things about the move to make him feel better because your friend is feeling very down because he has just moved to the countryside. So, we as the person who is replying, we have to encourage the sender. Alright, so, okay, let's look at paragraph 2. Okay, don't worry about making new friends. You have always been very popular. Okay, why don't you see if there's a local football team or youth club? Right, so what is the answer? Yes, it is C. Suggest things Ruby, uh, Robbie can do to find new friends. So he's giving some ideas what can he do. Okay, so let's look at the next one, paragraph 3. I'd love to come to your party. It will be great fun and of course I'd love to be the DJ. I'll bring lots of different types of music and everyone can have a good time. Have you decided on a date yet? Okay, so... He has actually accepted the invitation to go for the party as well as to be the DJ. So the answer is definitely A. Alright, so the last one, bye for now Kirk. Okay, so that will be B. Okay, bye for now. Alright. Okay, so let's look at these useful expressions. So there are three here, accepting or rejecting invitations responding to news and making suggestions. Okay, so the first one, if I were you, I'd or I wouldn't, why don't you, how or what about? Okay, next one, I'd, I'd love to come, I'll definitely be there, I'm sorry, I can't make it. Unfortunately, I won't be able to come. Okay, then the third one, what exciting, sad or great news, I'm really pleased for you, Proud of you. It will be fun or great. Okay. So, which one goes where? So, let's look at number one. So, number one would be, yes, it is accepting or rejecting invitation. Okay. So, uh, so this one will be, sorry, this one, number two. I would love to come. See, so he's accepting. Okay. I would definitely be there. All right. See, or rejecting an invitation, I'm sorry, I can't make it. See, can you see that? It is, okay, it is accepting or rejecting. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Responding to news, which one? Okay, the answer is three. Okay, what exciting or sad or great news it is. I'm really pleased for you. I'm proud of you. Okay, it will be fun. Okay, this is responding to the news. And making suggestions, it will be number one okay i think you know if if uh, if i were you what i would have done why don't you try to do something or how about we try doing this okay so you're giving some suggestions all right so now complete the exam task remember to make a plan before you start okay using informal language in the exam your letters will always be need to be 
informal so remember to use friendly expressions and informal language try to use contractions and include helpful expressions we usually use in informal letters and emails all right so your exam does this is part of a letter you received from an australian friend i start at my new school after the holidays i don't know anyone there do you think i'll get on with everyone how can i make new friends all right so let's look at okay so here is an example of a reply okay see here all the lines whatever points that need to be replied are underlined here okay i don't know anyone do you think i'll get on with everyone how can i make new friends so when you have a reply you make sure you include this all right so hi jenny it's nice to hear from you i can't believe it's been a month since you left don't worry about starting at your new school i know it is scary moving somewhere new but i know you'll be fine i bet there will be lots of people in your new classes to get to know why don't you join an after school club you can meet people like people that like the same things as you you should join the music club you are good at playing violin let me know how it goes speak to you soon kt all right so you see she has actually replied based on this okay whatever that is mentioned all right the points the replies are based on this okay so this is an example given and i have come up with another example all right let's see, let's look at this all right so the same points you're going to reply to the same thing hi jack it is a pleasure to hear from you glad to know you are fine over there it must be so much fun to go to a new school i always wanted to go to a new school to make new friends making friends is very easy all that you need to do is to make the first move to say hi besides that be polite and smile always you can also invite your schoolmates to your home to play online games you can play games together too it will be so much fun i hope you will have many friends before i visit you next month bye for now ricky okay so even this example follows this all right okay you see all those underlined uh, points are included here all right so you just have to follow the guide that has been given to you all right so now for your homework you are going to write a reply similar to what we have seen the two examples all right so in that this is a part of a letter you have received from an australian friend so based on the same letter and the same points you are going to reply but this time around you can give your own ideas what can he do you can suggest things you can encourage the sender as well all right your reply you can uh, encourage your friend maybe your friend is down so how are you going to encourage your friend all right so this is your homework for today well time is everlasting but people aren't keep in touch with people whom you love all right so thank you for joining today's class and your task and your homework will be sent to your class telegram group all right see you bye